when the seasons change, so do the sheets and the bedding at our five-star rated Airbnb Lakeside here in Canada. So today I'm going to use the Bedshire line of linens. And these sheets are 100% cotton, so you'll notice they are a bit wrinkled, just the way cotton is. But the, the packaging says they've already been washed. I will, of course, wash them again. What I like about Bedshire is there's elastic all the way around on this fitted sheet. And they also put in a label to tell you where the top and the bottom is because our king size bed is not a perfect square. So that's very helpful, especially with solid colors. And I also got this comforter set and I love it. It's light and airy looking and it matches the nature theme of our property because we are on a lake with five acres and trails. We try to create a retreat, a romantic retreat kind of vibe here and we've been successful as we only have five star reviews on Airbnb and I'll put a link to our Airbnb in the description below in case you're ever in our neck of the woods and would like to stay. We also teach hat making here right on the property so you can stay overnight. Um, you would have to give us a call though or send an email to arrange that. But back to the sheets. So I've washed them and I'm only going to press the pillowcases, which are generous in size. Again, this is king size that I'm dealing with. And then I'll just press down that top part of the flat sheet as well, just to remove the, the visible wrinkles. And you'll see inside the pillowcases are nicely finished edges. It's all double stitched. And there's a little pocket that hides the end of the pillow on the open side. So I'm giving them a press and I'll start to install this uh, fitted sheet. And it's, uh, it's very generous. We have a three inch gel topper on, on top of our mattress and the flat sheet is quite generous in size too. So, so far so good. And now it's time to bring out the comforter. I put the comforter in the washing machine as well. And that pretty much removed all the wrinkles. Now the comforter is polyester, but it's a very uh, high thread count microfiber that the two pieces for the outer shell are made from. One has this beautiful leaf print and it's reversible on the other side. It's a light green and the it just feels so luxurious. I can't believe how nice this fabric feels. It's just so soft and silky like feeling, but it is polyester. And there's my finished bed. One thing left to add, add is a nice throw blanket. And this is also from Bedshire and it's got a beautiful texture. It's a lofty, uh, they call it fleece, but it's more like a minky fur. And that will just sit at the end of the bed. And now we are ready for you to come and visit us at our Airbnb. And of course, the candles add some ambiance as well. So there you have it, folks. We've done a simple springtime makeover just by changing the sheets on the bed, which were dark gray for the winter and very furry comfortable but now that the weather is changing we want to change the look too 